Who are you? What's your name? Grammy Cindy. Grammy Cindy. That is a gorgeous trout. It was. That's beautiful. Thank you. All right. I'll be posting it on my YouTube channel in about a month. So Would check it like out. I am a 71-year-old woman who loves to camp and travel. Most of the time, I take my little schnauzer sneakers with me. I belong to four lady camp groups, and one I started in my area. One of the reasons we bought the Mini Winnie was so I could go more on my own or with my lady camper groups. My channel, Crafty Traveler, isn't only about crafting, it's about being crafty smart. When traveling, camping, quilting, and doing crafts. Good morning, it's Lonnie with Crafty Traveler. It's a beautiful morning here at Brown's Campground at the Owens River. I can look out my windshield and see the pasture and the river. It's a very smooth river. I think the water's quite low. I haven't been to the river just yet. We arrived yesterday and in a rainstorm. So we had to just kind of get camp set up as best we could and wait it out. Kelly came over to my RV for a little dinner and we did have a little campfire last night. If you haven't seen that video, I'll post it above. But the campfire didn't last long because it started to rain again. And I did see some fishermen out there on the river. And a guy kept saying, I got another one, I got another one. But I haven't gotten out there yet to fish. So this morning, I'm going to cook some breakfast. I'm going to cook scrambled eggs with a leftover trout that I caught. Trout scramble. So sh let's uh, do that. And then I'll get back to you. Well, this morning's breakfast is going to consist of a couple of scrambled eggs with the leftover trout that I had. If you haven't seen that video, I'll post it above. And my leftover uh, black blueberries and my tea. I've already got butter in the pan. So let me crack a couple of eggs. All right, there's a couple of eggs cooking in there. You've heard of salmon scramble. Well, this is going to be trout scramble. This is what we do with any leftover trout that we catch. You put them in eggs. Sometimes I make sandwiches or trout cocktail. Today, it's going to be scrambled eggs. All right. All right. There are... That's the rest of the trout that I caught days ago. Kind of chop it up a little bit. Really cold, almost frozen. It's cooking up well. Okay. There's my trout scramble. When I take it out and put it on my plate. I'll put a little salt and pepper on it. Maybe a little guacamole. I do like guacamole on my eggs. There we go. Trout scramble on my teapots are boiling, so I'm gonna get my tea. breakfast. Trout scramble with guacamole and blueberries. And of course my tea. Alright. Good morning again. Gotta have my tea. Good constant comment. I think this is Earl Grey.
and some trout scramble. Mmm. I like the blueberries kind of mixed in with it. And then that little bit of guacamole is real tasty too. So today's adventures, we're going to go up to Mammoth Lakes. Kelly's never been up there. I'm going to show her the lake. We're going to go to the visitor center. Uh, we're going to go to Schott's Bakery. I want to get some bread. I love their jalapeno and cheese bread and cinnamon bread. I'm going to load up. And then she really wants to go see Devil's Post Pile. So I've got to take that long winding road up to Devil's Post Pile. They usually have shuttles, but after Labor Day, the shuttles don't run, except on the weekends. And today is September the 13th, Tuesday, September the 13th, so there won't be any shuttles. So i got to drive it. I've never driven it before. I've only ridden it. And I do remember it's a long, dusty road, but it's hopefully paved most of the way now. It's been a long time since I've been up to Devil's Post Pile. And also while we're at Shots, we're going to get our lunch. We're going to get sandwiches so that when we do go down into the lakes area, then we can eat lunch down there and have a picnic. So that's our day for today. Come on along. Thanks for coming on. Thanks for all my viewers and subscribers. It really appreciated if you watched the full video. All right. Talk to you later. Shots, bakery, get some bread and sandwiches. Here's the map of the Mammoth Lake area. We'll be coming from the south and come in here and the visitor center is here and the town is in here so that's where Shots Bakery is and I believe there's a Safeway. And then we're going to go out this road and the minarets are here. I do want to stop by there but we may stop by on the way back so then I have to go up this road and down and that's where Devil's Post Pile is. And then we'll be coming back, stopping at the minarets, coming back and going down into the lakes, eat our lunch, enjoy the scenery, and then come back south to where we are camped.
9,265 feet. It is quite windy and cold. And we can't even see the minarets because of the clouds. Now we're headed up to Devil's Post Pile. It is a park that you can use your Golden Age Pass, so we got in for free because of our Golden Age card. The parking around Devil's Post Pile Trail is quite small and crowded. I did find a little parking place right there past the garbage cans. Well, I sent Kelly up on her own. It's like 51 degrees and I didn't bring a sweater or a heavier jacket. She has her heavier windbreaker. And so she's gonna hike up to Devil's Post Pile. That's really what she wants to do. Starkweather Lake. Permanent features of the landscape often are only transitional. For example, most Sierra lakes were formed by glaciers of the last ice age about 11,000 years ago. Streams leading into these lakes deposit silt, while aquatic plants produce organic debris. Deep, clear lakes fill up with plant and animal byproducts and eventually become meadows. Twin Lakes, where we were earlier. It's on the road to Horseshoe Lake and Mamie Lake, and we've passed Mary and George. This is Horseshoe Lake and the Crystal Craig. Lake and the Crystal Craig Mammoth Lakes. Lake Mimi. Lake Mimi and the Crystal Craig. A couple of fishermen down here. I was hoping he was going to catch a fish. So I could see him catch a fish. I think I am. Yes, he's got a fish. Ooh, nice.
that is a nice fish. <laughs> What's your name? Grammy Cindy. Grammy Cindy. That is a gorgeous trout. It was that's beautiful. Thank you. All right, I'll be posting it on my YouTube channel in about a month. So check it out. I want to thank Grandma Cindy for allowing me to put her on my YouTube channel while she reeled in that big fish. And thanks to Don for showing his fish also. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's video of the Mammoth Lakes seeing all the lakes, showing Kelly around. It was a lot of fun. Of course, I had to go to Shots and get bread. And seeing all the lakes and the minarets. Minarets were clouded over. I couldn't really see them as well as I have in the past. But it was a good day. Kelly enjoyed hiking up to Devil's Post Pile. It was just a little too chilly for me. I did not take an extra jacket and I had capris on and I just waited for her in the car. But she enjoyed it, took pictures. But all in all, it was a great day and I thank you for watching. Please comment, share, subscribe, give me a thumbs up. Stay crafty, smart, creative, and safe. Thanks for watching.